Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be planning the week of April 8th to the 14th in my memory planner. And let's just say that this week wasn't the greatest week. Um, if you haven't watched my plan with me, um, like the one previous to that, um, I think by the time you watch this, it'll be like two weeks, three weeks later. So yeah, pretty much I talked about it in there, but yeah. It is a series on, of uh, unfortunate events um, that happened this week, but I'm trying to get over it, but obviously I'm still angry, still sad, um, still going through the emotions, um, even though I went through it multiple times, but yeah. Anyway, so I'll be using the Scroll Prince Co. Tiana kit, and my goal for this year is to literally use up all the kits that I have, and I'm just missing one kit that is th technically for Thanksgiving, but... I'm trying to see if one of the mystery kits will fulfill that, so yeah. Anyway, so I also paired this with the Stars Foil Bundle in Sparkly Hollow. So you have two sheets of overlays, two sheets of underlays, your scripts and icons, and then your bottom washi. So I will speed through putting down the base. So I already laid down the base. I did do a like extender, but I did some journaling. So as like a full box size, so I just stuck it down there. So yeah. Um, anyway, so this is the week that I got laid off, unfortunately, but yeah, it is what it is. And it, I kind of like was procrastinating, like laying down, um, are doing the day by day on this so it still hurts um i'm not gonna lie but yeah anyway so i'm currently filming this 20 days later technically because it's currently the 28th um right yes <laughs> oh my goodness so yeah but anyway so starting off on monday i published my budget with me And I get my scissors. And I kind of reorganized my desk, but then, or like my desk drawer. And let's just say, it's not organized again. <laughs> um, so yeah. But I did clean off my desk, which I'm happy about, because it was kind of like giving me a headache. So after that, I marked down that I had work which technically I was just reviewing stuff and yeah and then oh shoot I did not space this out correctly so after that I went to go see the eclipse 
I didn't take anything like work related or like my work phone with me so and I was home so I could easily just go back downstairs um so it was 90% totality in New York City actually let me put down oh gosh I did not space this good enough let's see I actually space for this okay and that will do okay so after that I thought this um doodle from paper shire worked out perfectly because technically it was all of like everyone was outside um just looking at the solar eclipse and then I came back downstairs obviously I said I didn't take any work stuff and I got the business update email um, I didn't know what it was um, because I was clueless um, and then I did a Google search and um, it meant what I thought it meant um, so yeah it was unfortunate but yeah it, I actually thought the funny thing is I actually thought it was on schedule for Thursday because I had an appointment or like a meeting that had the same name but it was around the same time and I was like wait oh shoot it's fine um so I thought it was for Thursday but then I'm like why would they schedule it so in advance and then when I double checked the calendar like after I accepted it and then I was like thinking to myself what if I didn't accept it would something happen still <laughs> um so yeah it is what it is but anyway so yeah pretty much I was spiraling at that point um after I got the email I messaged the team and they were like oh don't worry you're fine you're gonna be fine um but I don't think they realized that like for me mentally it was not fine like everyone kept saying it was fine it's fine you'll be you'll be fine like no <laughs> I clearly wasn't I know they were trying to um like make me feel better but it was not helping by telling me um I'll be fine um <laughs> so it is what it is but um I can't go back in time and say like no you shouldn't have said this um but yeah um and then my coworker was saying how, oh, you're a U.S. citizen, it's easy for you to get a job. I'm like, no, that's not the point of it. The point is how they did it and when they decided to do it. It's just like, it's awful. But yeah, anyway, I'm getting into all the feels again. So yeah, at that point, I cried myself to sleep. Um, and then my team was like, you should come to the office. Um and such and I kind of did want to go to the office because I wanted to say bye to the people that like made an impact on my days at, in the office so and people that I talked to like it would just be rude for me to just up and go because it wasn't them who did something it was like centrally the corporate um made the decision to cut me and what I realized is that they were trying to meet a quota and I was unfortunately one of them um so yeah it freaking sucks but it is what it is at this point point. and all i can do is just look back at these memories and say sarnara <laughs> um it's nice knowing you company um so anyway i was in the office and then obviously i was in my feelings because i was emotional the entire day it was it was rough um like I was saying, talking to some people, oh, I should have switched these two, but it's fine. Um, I was talking to my coworkers, they were shocked, um, obviously, but, um, like, I know there's, like, something where, or, like, professionalism where some people don't say anything, but for me, 
it makes me feel better knowing that they know the truth um, and not like making assumptions and stuff so it is what it is anyway um obviously I was in my feelings all day every day like my coworker, uh, my first year or technically the first year on the team she, um, so my favorite candy is well I have a multiple but if you were to say chocolate it would be Kit Kat so she got me um, a mini Kit Kat or not like the normal regular size Kit Kat um, and left it at my desk because I, I stepped away I was talking to my other co-workers on another team um, so yeah and then my coworker who loves baking and cooking, um, she made me a carrot cake and I was just like bawling my eyes out already in the morning. Um, so yeah, it, it was a sad day, but there was nothing that could stop it, um, unfortunately. So yeah, anyway, so after that, and the worst part was they scheduled the meeting in the middle of the day and it was just like, what do I do after? I mean, I could have just gone home, but um, I decided to just keep talking to people, um, say my goodbyes and stuff. You know, oh wait, shoot, I messed this up. So, yeah. And then, obviously, I had the business update meeting, which was, how they put it, was separating me from the company, um, or from the firm, so, yeah. That is unfortunate, but I also had check-ins with my managers and PPMDs. My PPMDs, let's just say they were trying to comfort me. Or like, they're trying to make the situation better, but they already knew since Friday. And it just freaking sucks that they knew before. Um, and I don't know. Like, they couldn't do anything to stop it, but clearly they were... <laughs> what could they do, you know? And I was just kind of annoyed that they couldn't do anything, but... It is what it is. Anyway, so after that, um, I stayed until like 5.30, which I don't know why I did, but um, my cousin asked me if I wanted to go grab dinner with her because she was also in the office. And this cousin, she got laid off from another, or from the other big four companies. Um, and yeah, I kind of like had some, like we had something in common and I just needed to talk to her about it because it freaking sucked oh so yeah it is what it is obviously I'm still sad angry and I was dreading filming this because I don't want to relive all those feelings but obviously I'm still am because <laughs> I am still angry um but I know better things are to come because I had a fortune cookie that told me told me so um so yeah, anyway, so after that, on Wednesday, the day after, um, obviously, I decided to sleep in because I didn't have to go into office, nor did I have to work, because I would lose access at 12 p.m. noon, so it didn't matter if I worked or not, because there's no point. I'm no longer employed, so, um, yeah, so, anyway, so I published March 18th to the 24th. And then I sent out, um, after I woke up, I typed, drafted up an email and said my goodbyes, um, my final goodbyes. I mean, I'm glad that I had a lot of connections at work because they're all willing to, um, write me recommendation letters. So in a way it, it was good, but like there's a happy ending to it, but obviously it's more so a sad ending. Um, so yeah, anyway. I sent my goodbye email and then logged off and I told my team and then they were like you know how to make someone cry and I'm like that's my superpower um so yeah anyway so it was my last day and the funny thing was um I don't I forgot if I mentioned it or not in my plan with me's but um I was telling my dad like April 4th would have been exactly 2.5 years since I started. So yeah. And then after that, um, obviously I was in my feelings once again and you will see this sticker sheet, like literally this was me the entire time. Um, 
like all of these emotions it was just me the entire week the week following and maybe a little bit more but now I'm just like every memory I think of it's always sad because I won't have those again um like with my coworkers, like the funny moments um like the shenanigans like I have like to call them because we are a group of like I loved my new team and it was just ta sad how it ended up but it is what it is anyway so after that I was kind of like emotionally exhausted so I took a nap and then I oh wow I didn't think this one through did I let's see can I flip it I might go flip it eek let's do I totally forgot that I had the extra colorway so yeah my bad um and I'm actually going to move this slightly down a little so yeah anyway but I've been spending my time doing like shop stuff um going on adventures like I like to call them um with my dogs or with my parents um but then I feel like I also feel like I am avoiding the reality of it um and I don't know I just feel lost in a way so anyway after that I dropped off packages at the post office because yeah I guess I had plenty of time to do that now and then I updated my resume. I kind of like did most of it on this day, but then I just did not touch it after because I was not ready to look for a new job, uh, mentally speaking. So yeah, and I did reach out to my recruiter as of the 24th. So yeah, 16 days to almost two weeks um, since I got found out I was getting laid off um I think it's a good start like I don't think I'll be ready to work until like maybe July but we'll see um if I get an interview I get an interview if I don't it is fine um but at least I did the first step of reaching out or seeing my resume and reaching out to the recruiter as of now um anyway so I watch my tv shows because obviously I was moping so what better to do than watch my favorite shows? So I watched Good Doctor, Cleaning Lady, and The Rookie. So on to Thursday, and I'm sorry, I'm like sweating. Um, it is kind of warm today in New York City. So I had my fan on, but then you can hear it through the um the mic. So I decided to turn it off. So I'm a little toasty. Um, and plus the lights, uh, the studio lights. Oh my goodness. Anyway, also talking about this brings up a lot of emotions. Anyway, so after that, I feel like I'm not going to have enough room, but we'll squeeze the last one in. Okay, it's not really spaced out evenly, but it is what it is. So obviously Thursday, I had nothing to do because I don't have work anymore. So I watched my TV shows and I feel like I'm not, I think as of April 29th, I'm going to set a better schedule for myself because I literally go to bed at like, well, I should say last night I went to bed at four in the morning. Um, I don't know. I, I'm just like in that stage where I'm just like Ugh, I don't know what to do with my life um but yeah anyway I think I just need to have a better schedule for myself so watch my tv shows then I cut my dogs here and then for because I was just like okay he's getting a, it was getting warmer um these days so um and his hair had like i let it grow out a little um for the winter or during the winter so i just trimmed it um so he can um and plus his bum is is very floofy um so 
yeah I just had to trim it because it was just too fluffy um because I don't know his business was it was just too co close for comfort oh <laughs> so anyway um one while he was doing his business anyway um anyway so after that I went to get my favorite food my comfort food um which is pho um and also we had like ramen when I had dinner with my cousins because I just wanted ramen because that is good comfort food you know it's a good sad but happy meal um and I actually was planning on hanging out with my former co-worker who got laid off last year but um I think I just needed I didn't want or I personally felt like I needed my cousin's reassurance because obviously I look up to them and yeah and actually one of them was in auditing the other one worked at the same company but in merger and acquisitions so it kind of worked out um that I could talk to them about it as opposed to my former co-worker um but yeah it but I still reached out to my former co-worker but yeah it was just I just wanted to be with family if that made sense anyway so after that we went to ShopRite to buy groceries and then I wanted some good food so I treated myself to snow crabs so yeah I did that anyway on it to Friday um I published my sticker organization part three and I still have not finished um organizing my stickers yet um which are my character stickers in my new character binder which I now have a bigger one because I felt like it was just too much um was happening in the smaller one which was the b6 size so um the b6 print pression so they're both print pressions um one is just a5 wide now and i do sell release paper um that is eight and a half by 11 so you can cut them down to whatever size you would like um and then if you have like a so for b6 size um and smaller you can get at least or half letter size obviously um or smaller you can get two on a page like you have um two sheets on a page but if you want the a5 size a5 wide size um you can only cut one per page that's unfortunate but yeah and i'm hoping um i can offer like the different sizes as opposed to you guys um buying like the eight and a half by eleven but yeah um i'm just taking my time with that but then again on on by the time you watch this I had like a huge release because I was just design crazy um but it kept me productive which was a good thing so anyway so after that um I published the sticker organization I watched 911 and then obviously I was still in my feelings so yeah anyway then I packed some orders and then I did some studying which I was just studying the same chapter for like the whole week because I just couldn't get myself to continue um because I didn't get that motivation anymore because um I was more motivated knowing that I will I was hoping to get it all done and that's still my goal for this year to get my CPA this year um but obviously I'm not um, employed so it freaking sucks because then I won't get my cpa bonus um which is whatever at this point um it means nothing to me uh but anyway so yeah and then i decided to take a nap because emotionally drained and then i designed and that was my friday on to saturday and you have, um, I don't know if you noticed, but, um, I did have, like, a lot of things to mark, so I opted out from a full box on here, because then I would be able to have, um, and plus, this kit was, um, an older format kit, so I didn't have any extra full boxes, so I just opted to just do the three boxes instead, but it kind of worked out, because, um, on Tuesday, then I can have an extender where I can just journal, um, so yeah anyway so on to saturday obviously i was in my feelings in the morning 
I moped on my bed and then I got up, packed a few more orders, and then went to the post office to drop them off. So, and now that I'm not employed, um, I can go any day now. Um, but it kind of works out better because they're less stingy on weekdays than weekends because obviously they want to go home um, and stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, so after that, um, we did go on an adventure, but it wasn't really much. But we went to, my dad wanted to go to the container store to walk around. And I was like, okay, fine, I'll go instead of moping at home. So we went to the container store in um, 6th Avenue. I forgot. Yeah, anyway, um, after that, there was a Muji nearby. Whoops. And I got a few things there. And then we went to Chinatown and I got soup dump. Technically, we didn't get soup dumplings, but there was like a noodles um, at this place that I really like. So I just got it. And then we went to Boeing Hong which is a Asian market to get a few snacks um, because since I'm home there's not enough food for me technically um, because most of the days or three times out of the week I was working from the office so my parents didn't really have to worry about lunch for me um, but yeah or like any snacks um, because they had snacks for themselves so but then since I'm home now there's no snacks for me, so, and plus, my goodness, excuse me, um, that was my tongue, um, anyway, so, um, in the office, I would be able to take snacks home, um, but, yeah, I'm not in the office anymore, so, it is what it is, and then I watched Fire Country, which, I don't know why I used a fancy label for it, but it is what it is, anyway, on to the final day of the week, I watched Wish, And then I worked on savings challenges, which are currently in the shop now, but I am planning on adding a few more items um, for the savings challenges, as well as, um, what do you call it? So I have the trackers itself, um, I can show you. So this is like... So this is like one of them. So these are like the cards. Whoops, totally need to zoom out. Um, these are like the cards, so you can put them in a zippered cash envelope or you can slip them in a regular cash envelope. Um, so yeah, and then I also have placeholders coming and then also the envelopes versions of this. So this is just a card itself uh, that is laminated. So you can use um, Sharpie markers to mark them up and then use alcohol um, to clean them. And, oh my goodness. Here's the stack of things I need to take a photo of. So these are all the cash envelopes that I need to take a photo of, but essentially they are also laminated, but they are have an envelope attached to it or built in. So yeah. And then what else? Oh, I have a budget notebook, which most likely would have um, already been released, but I don't have photos on those as of yet. Um, actually, no. I think I'm gonna push that release, um, the budget notebook, till next week, maybe, um, so I can take photos of those. So, yeah. I've been productive in terms of the shop, um, which is good, because I'm being productive, um, and not just moping at home, seriously moping. Um, so yeah. Anyway, that is pretty much what I've been working on. Um, so yeah, anyway, so I worked on the savings challenges and then I worked on or uh, I packed orders and then I was printing and cutting stickers.
obviously I'm still in my feelings this day. And I decided to clean my room, which well, let me shift this up slightly. So yeah, that is pretty much, whoops, totally chucked my sticker book. Um, that is pretty much my spread for the week. So yeah, it's an unfortunate week, but I'm slowly overcoming it. But yeah, there's still butts in it. Um, anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this spread and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.